Shot clock again under 10. And Thor will fire up a three and hit two for two from downtown. For and who knows, Mike, he might be back next year with, since everybody gets a, a do-over next year. That's true. Did you mean to do that? A do-over? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, that, that's a tough ask. This game is kind of slowed down to the pace that Mississippi State likes. Couldn't agree more. See the way Smith probed there without forcing it? Look at the hands by Thor on the backside steal. Thor on the finish. Yes, plus one. What a play by JT Thor. State finishing has been. Why? Because in league play, Auburn blocks more shots than anybody else. And the Tigers have five blocks already in this. Oh, oh. Jeez. Oh. JT Thor, uh, you might want to block the baseline. Oh. With six foot ten, pride of Anchorage and Larnwell with a turnaround <laughs> chuck as the shot clock was winding down, and even he has to crack a smile at that one. That is his the and one opportunity. He's got three blocks on the day. He is also one rebound away from a double-double. Auburn with six blocks in the game overall. Four. Consistent than my one-year-old, so thanks Alabama fans for sticking with me. You can't blame me for anything. Y'all started playing well during all that. I think, I think our camera did, and not just the turnovers, the points off the turnovers, significant. 17 for Alabama, two for Auburn. That was JT Thor, who's been a revelation. Stick. Gosh. The door just stays open for Auburn. Thor got that one tipped at the rim. That's it. Puts it on the deck. Oh, excellent feed. Thor. Beautiful basketball there. Shackle for the tide on the move. Oh, and a giveaway. JT Thor! Oh! <laughs> That's one way hammer. to get yourself involved. And their program just picked up where they left off, but just such a surprise outing after seeing that score. Thor can't answer on this end. That's a foul on Cambridge. String together a run, a significant one. It needs something. There's Thor left open. Petty, strong rebound. He snatched it away. In this Auburn team, I do not think is built to come back from this far against an Alabama team that surely is going to keep putting points on the board for the next five minutes. And it has just been a subpar shooting day. Uh, they really got beat up pretty good. Um, what, plus 35 on the at the free throw line were the Razorbacks on attempts. Uh, but other than that, look, they haven't been perfect this year, but neither have some of the other teams out a chance. But, you know, with 23 turnovers and less than 40% from the field, not going to get it done. Credit Alabama's defense as well. There's Thor, count it, and the bucket. up two offensive rebounds already in the first four minutes of play. They can't survive that way. Thor pulls up mid range and hits. Six ten. This SEC tournament is going to be. is going to be wide open. I think you know the Big Ten has. A number of really good teams that can win it. That's the deepest league in the country in terms of just really quality teams. But I still think the top end teams in there. I think you can start to make a case for Ole Miss uh, being at or near the bubble. They've won five of the last six. They've got wins over Tennessee and Missouri. They were in the. Defense can get you in rhythm offensively, and they need that. Great play by Springer to just ride Cambridge off, not allow him to get into the lane, and then elevate show his athleticism with the ball. JT Thor with the three for a bye in the SEC tournament. JT! 
I'll tell you what I love right now. Really put that in doubt, down if they lose sure. this one with just one. I light. Let's see if he can light it up from three. He's a good shooter. Instead, JT4 able to rattle one in, pull him back within 10. You mentioned the high set has been a challenge for him, and, and, and it's understandable when you're at Auburn right now, and now you're without Cooper tonight, and you can kind of question, well, what are we playing for? And, uh, been, but you you learn more on the struggle. out. But again, sources telling ESPN that he has crush injuries of both lower legs, a compound fracture or a crush injury when a heavy object puts pressure onto a body part. Back up if you're Scotty Lewis. Come, come right back up. Make him call it again. There you go. JT4, that ball was blocked as well. Omar Payne got a hand on it. Walton Arena, absolutely. I, I don't think they are built to, to win six games in a row. Okay. Uh, and it's interesting to me, Ravi, Alabama, think about this. In the last 20 years, I talked with Joe Lenardi today about it. Auburn 4-5 or five to start this game from the floor. Nice use of besmirch, though. Well done. Mm -hmm. Here's Thor. JT Thor had a big shooting night in Auburn. Rebounded by Dylan Cardwell. Devin Cambridge picked up his third foul that last trip down for Auburn. Chance for the Tigers. And it's JT Thor with his first bucket of the game. Number set by Vegas this year. And we are going to shatter that, it seems. Yeah, we will see that in the rear view. I told folks uh, uh, off balance. He just finds ways to get buckets. He's one of the best scorers in the country. I thought it was really interesting too with Will Wade, and I know people have talked about other broadcasts, his how regimented he is, but that is remarkable. Our imposter here. Train what's under the armor. All year, but I think there might be a couple teams, you know, that are better, better than a few others that can find a way to get to the end. The SEC may be the most wide open tournament yeah. in the country, but literally, I mean, I could think of eight different by Jackson. Yeah, keep in mind both of these teams block about six shots yep. per game, so everything should be contested, especially down deep. Both top five in college hoops. JT Thor. Much as you normally would playing against 20,000 fans. Sar misses on the rainbow delivery. Here's Cooper. Had it stripped for a moment. Kick it out. Can Thor go back to back? He cannot. Rims out. Rebound. Have done that a little bit at the defensive end, especially under the basket. Auburn had lost three in a row to Baylor, Georgia, and Ole Miss. Jumper is pure from the corner. Jay as he went in there, kind of like worried about getting his shot blocked. Yeah. That was a trip just then with confidence and a little more positivity. And they needed that bucket. Thor off the rim. Rebound cleared by Space them out. Kick, ball fake. More for Thor. And no call going to the rim. We got numbers. Five. Try to make that move on the baseline. Thor gets a piece. Cooper. Thor, a three. Boy, if they ever needed a bucket to go in just then. Challenging slam down on the follow. Keon Brooks Jr. climbs the ladder. Yeah, two guys trying to block a shot. Nobody gets a body. Thor. Wow. wow. Nice looking <laughs> delivery from Jay. Cooper, step back, Jay. Rims out, rebound battle, scooped up, Thor turns and connects off the window. Boy, Thor has given them good minutes. Congratulations, Kentucky Basketball Director of Communications, Eric Lindsay and his wife Stephanie welcomed a baby girl into the world this week. Adeline Ruth Lindsay, the latest Wildcat fan. The basket. Under two minutes to play. Auburn down by four to Kentucky. Cooper needs help. Lob it in. Thor turns, banks it in. Uh, Thor is just catching it and going with a great answer by Kentucky just then. One that they obviously needed. Cooper gets in, reverse no, tip in goes. JT Thor controlling the glass. Cambridge Williams and JT Thor, a super, super young Auburn basketball team learning on the ropes here in 2021. Yeah, you're thinking about an Auburn team that's faced. Defensively scoring a bunch of points this year. Averaging almost 80 a game, fourth in the 
Conference 42nd in the country, but they are blanked here in the first three plus minutes. Average almost in the first half, uh, almost half of the Commodores' points tonight. That one slips through the sill. Two minutes right. to play, first half. Right now for Auburn, Dave, you, you mentioned that Cooper has been struggling. But one thing about the Auburn Tigers is they're not going to stop. And you see that Coach Jerry Stackhouse has now went back to man uh, with Auburn having success while the Commodores were in that matchup. To stretch this out to double figures for the first time tonight if they can get a basket here. Cooper, alley-oop underneath. No whistle. Bruce Pearl thought there was a bump on that. Teams in the SEC, four 1,000-point scorers on this roster. A lot of upperclassmen for the Rebels. Thor in the lane ties it up. But they'll live with Thor's going to make that. Tree would come on to work out on his own. Couldn't be part of film. So as a freshman, all the stuff you're trying to learn mentally, you can't have any of those reps. So for him to drop in in that first game against Alabama, and mind you, I know Alabama lost today, but Alabama's legit. It plays when they have to have it. For sure. And, and it is a little bit because he's learning how to play defensively. When they play Georgia, oh, great love. Oh, got to finish that. But great look. But Thor's got to be able to finish that. Everybody getting a touch. Thor down the lane. Count it. State, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Maryland's the one team looks. I think. Maryland, they have good wins though. Like they, they have, like that's yes. the, I would play like an argument for them. But every other team you listed has almost no really good win. Point Auburn lead with possession. No Cooper on the floor right now. Four. Thunder's one home. They're able to get stops. They run this this one three one and cause a lot of turnovers. It kind of wore down the balls. So this is this thing is far from over. Yeah, they were down eleven. Zone got him back into it. Sit it on the inbound. Don't need to foul yet. You can easily get a trap nope. in the backcourt. He's in real trouble. You want to call timeout. They got one. And they get the turnover. Cooper. Played point guard for Dale Brown at LSU. Went to the Final Four and put himself in a position to get back involved in coaching. Was a great recruiter. Recruited Ben Simmons for Texas Southern team out. Outside the three-point line gets space, and with that lazy pass, Thor takes the ball to the basket. Thor missed the attempt. Ball tipped out of bounds. Texas Southern will take over. Alexander is a key component to this team. Uh, he's a Georgetown transfer. JT Thor again, a left-hand tomahawk jam. Too quick, your decision-making becomes minimal. And, and right now, other than... <laughs> Other than you know, you look. Auburn trying to build on a 15 to 2 run and a 12 point lead. Stream what you love. For the world we're gonna make. Discovery Plus. Four teams, two semifinals, New Year's. Tigers quickly in the front court. Justin Powell playing some point guard. Again, they do not have the services of Sharif Cooper. Ball down low into the freshman JT Thor, who they're high on. Just needs to back that up. And he's a five-star kid. He has had so much success recruiting right here in Atlanta. Yeah. And that has been the nucleus for so many of his key players. Offensive rebound for kind of dictating tempo here thus far. And push it down, look like a little bit there, trying to push that screen down to keep them out of the middle of the floor. Step back three and offensive. Our next NBA preseason matchup is. I'll make him make a play under duress and, and see if you can't get some deflections, get some get some bad passes or something to get you going the other way. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they have struggled with turnovers. Or it's impossible to turn them and turn them and run and, and play at a high 
breakneck speed without getting some blows. I mean, it's it's impossible and in depth to both these teams. It has to happen. You want to be good defensively, you have to rebound. And, and Richie Riley talked, we have to keep Auburn off the glass. But first and foremost, the one thing when you go on the road, you need to make shots. And if you don't, and you're not getting... Having just recently lost his father more on that as the game progresses. Offensive rebound. Offensive JT Thor stepping back, misses that. Offensive rebounds. Getting those rebounds has not been a factor. He was in line to be Mr. Kentucky's senior season, but he got injured in December. And so that allowed Bruce Pearl, he thinks, to get in there, to, and he thought he was overlooked. Hey, the, the new guys didn't get to show up on campus and do workouts. So it, it, it's everything's new for new players. Uh, going to school, the pandemic, and practices. A veteran team, an easy lay-in for Petway. Flanagan looking at a three-pointer, offensive rebound, four down inside, and he will finish that with a lot of emphasis. Boy, you can just see he's just dripping with length and to 20. Thor again, showing you inside and outside. Interesting, I mentioned that he's originally from... Press an Auburn team who loves to play with pressure. That's what Bruce Pearl expected to get in this game. Up top, JT Thor unable to answer. It's off the back rim. And a foul on the rebounding action. That will go... It is an extremely young Auburn team. Ten-man rotation features five sophomores and four freshmen. JT Thor off out of the corner. Cambridge with the rebound. All on one, Green had it knocked away by Powell, and now numbers for Auburn. Johnson trying to get back in the Pretty. play, it's Thor. The mighty Thor with the jam, and the it's costly turnovers in the half court for Auburn when UCS really not applying too much pressure defense. Thor toes the line. Akingbola battling for the rebound, and ends up in with the way they have started the season. Out of the timeout. Auburn's possession not going anywhere. Shot clock under five. They get a fadeaway from Thor, an air ball, and it's going to turn out to be a shot clock by Darius Perry out. And Brandon Mahan has been the answer. At the buzzer, Thor's three is no good. And that'll do it. Good concepts. Good communication up top with Kispert and Suggs in the defense. Thor misses the long one. To Thor. Just off target. Lemonade, by the way. Just enjoyed the company. Nice pass. Powell to Thor and a foul. Powell's got some game. But I'm not afraid to mix it up. It. Mention Flanagan. 20 points in this game. 15 in this half. Thor! Finally, I get to say it. He brings the hammer down. Oh, he sure does. <laughs> Fumble the ball here, yeah. what a bit. It's a little out of sorts again, not surprising considering the circumstances. He can shoot that for JT Thor off target. Williams came flying in for another opportunity. Powell, little disjointed early here. Two to shoot, gotta go. Thor. It wasn't a clean catch, no. just a little rush. They weren't ready with the shot clock. They came out. about three assists for Daly as well. I think they're going to go up this year. He's got a nice compliment. Nice dish. Oh, beautiful. Four. Got his own miss and rolled it home. How quick to the ball to retrieve that in Five it goes. This is a good defensive trip for St. Charles. Four corralled it after the... Little misfire on the pass, he's able to cleanly knock it away. Percy Dayton was in the top five last season. A lot of people will hope to see them in the tournament. See if they can make a run with the quote unquote big boys. Another foul, I believe. Comes to Auburn being a combo guard, but expecting to play on the wing. And Bruce Pearl asked him if he plays any point guard. He said, Yeah, I played a little bit in high school. He said, How would you like to be the point guard here? <laughs> of course. I mean, how do you say no? And that's what Tom Davis told Bruce Pearl, and there's nobody like him. You know, it's kind of a weird game in that it feels like Auburn's dominating every time you look at layup. Beautiful shot by Delph. Really good attack of the baseline. You get JT Thor coming out on a long closeout. You should be able to watch State is.
and how prepared they are for the multiple defensive looks that Auburn has brought. That's the starting five for Mizzou. Outside of Drew Smith, Dan, you also have to watch out for Xavier Pinson, who was terrific in that Vols win. Another shot affected there. Ort, and man, just zero rust whatsoever. He had a double-double on Saturday. In the first half against South Carolina. Finished with 60-25 ranked team. And a win that was particularly satisfying, I would say, for Juan Conzo Martin. Your GT4, very versatile. A freshman from a better offensive team than on the defensive side this year tonight. Flexing its muscles defensively. Alan Flanagan, needs four. Nails another three. Eight to two, Missouri run. Look at that feed. Thor couldn't finish it, but the wrap around with the left hand. There's Thor, lines it up, knocks it down. That's his third triple. Back to a four point. This Saturday, excellent matchups, a couple of top 25 battles. One is Kansas and Tennessee at six, a rematch of last year's meeting. And then immediately afterward, fifth ranked Texas. Look who's open, Thor. Moore trying to keep it alive. Kick to Thor for three. There's a stop, Mizzou needed. Cooper. JT Thor will try for three and he'll knock it down. Yeah, really good find by Gens Levesque. Yeah, that's twice now Levesque has gotten his big paws on a miss. And you have to keep him if you're Auburn off that offensive glass today. Long rebound to Mon Who does a little bit of everything for this South Carolina team. And, and Frank would love for him to be even more aggressive scoring the basketball like that. Yeah, t t Tim and White is South Carolina's you're, you're a pro's pro. You treasure just as much. Yeah. You're a pro's pro in, 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 in every area, in, in any sport that I listen to you at. And season, I need another year to improve. And now look at the leadership those two guys in particular are providing. I mean, Frank Martin said Herb Jones should be the MVP of the league, the player of the year at the midway point of the season. Do not sleep on Alabama getting all the way to that final four. They are hosting Mississippi State tonight, 6 Eastern, on the SEC Network. Finally leapt into... From a coaching standpoint, that's why you're going to go beyond that 100 mark today against what traditionally is one of the best, most physical, grittiest defenses in this... ...and a high quality of life. Ohio is better for businesses and employees. Because we're not built for followers. We're building for leaders. Check out Ohio is impressive uh, in all facets. They've put up 94. They've hit 11 triples. 15 of 16. Is that right? From the free throw line tonight. Yeah. Tigers have won their last two. Sharif Cooper has been a big reason why. It's been a different team with him running the point. Thor left open. He comes up short. First possession now for Arkansas. Poked away by Thor, goes to Coast, and a timeout on the floor. I'm Eric Musselman, and I'm talking to the team right now about winning this segment. Close the half by winning this last two plus. JT Thor says thank you very much. He's got six. If it looked and felt a little choppy at times, that's because it was. the ball movement absolutely crisp Thor off the mark but was wide open Auburn take a lot but he's been wide open at the arc the lead was once 19 it's now seven Williams rejected they've come from five different players 28 rejections in the last three games I mean you think about it Akingbola 
Jalen Williams. And watch Sills deny the ball back to Cooper. Out on top. Cambridge collects and fires. Moore, the putback. Davis against Flanagan. Now on Johnson. Rev, you asked me this afternoon, how good is Vanover from Arkansas? And I said, well, first of all, 7-3 is 7-3. And that's what this guy is. He's not 7-1, and they expanded his numbers. He's a long guy that, that in the studio, but both these teams play with such freedom on the offensive end. And they, I think they do a good job of understanding freedom means what is Auburn's best shot and Arkansas's best shot. They don't hunt their own Desi Sills to make a play out of the corner as opposed to settling for a guarded three. Ooh, four. That was blocked by Vanover. Good hand. Ravi, the shot fake was so good. Auburn defenders turned their back and was waiting for a three-point rebound. Thor said, I got a three. There's a great box out that time by Moses Moody. And a couple for Troy, which is brought to you by Farm Rich. Breaks the light pressure. Khalil Waters. He's the senior from Douglasville, Georgia. Knows when to pick and choose his opportunities. Looks like a veteran out there. Brilliantly executed by the freshman. Another turnover. Excellent defense from Chris Moore. It is all Auburn. And, he and how important it is for their players to have this outlet be on the court together. Um, so to have that in addition to everything going on, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. And so uh, every single coach across the country. Kevin Durant-esque. The long yeah, It was. Strides, you threw me off a little bit. Out. I'm with you. It threw me off a little bit because I was thinking of lefties. But, uh, yeah, that was, you know, it's a different day and age now when 16 guys can do things. Handles now. He gets more experience running the point, as you mentioned, with Sharif Cooper. Still awaiting... The NCAA's decision about his eligibility is not ineligible. Or yeah, Devontae Shuler was dynamite in that game a year ago. He got 26 against Auburn. Baseline J for Thor is an air ball. So I'd like Thor to... Everyone. JT Thor inside. He was rejected, gets it back. Reclassified. Should still be in high school. We've seen a lot of players college basketball this year do that so that they could play. And Thor from downtown. He must have heard. Monte Schuler trying to get it to White, turns it over. Thor leads the fast break. Little Euro step. Thor. In the pass is that tough of a catch. Don't shoot that. Thor on the offensive glass, and he was the time left. Joiner comes up short here. And the rebound somehow corralled by Cambridge. More on the jump stop. Very important possession. For Ole Miss right here and right now. Yeah, I like the timeout by Kermit Davis. Try to settle his club down. One of the more frustrating things as town as Auburn escaped Oxford. Right there, top of the key. And the Tigers found a way to not only win that one, but sweep the season series. We love the ball, the nine passes. Yeah. Does it go in the basket? Didn't see the ball through the basket yet. Oh, right. There's one. Finally, it rattles in four with the offensive rebound. And that, that lean back jump shot of Shreve Cooper. You're just now watching this two and wide as a freshman phenom just in his third game. Not a three point shooter, but an absolute nightmare. Just his threat to knock down a shot stretches you just a little bit. The gaps are bigger. Kentucky much more difficult to defend. Miss for Auburn. Boy, what a was off to a fantastic start through two games. He was concerned that that Boston might get caught up in what Cooper does on the floor. 
today, Boston is outplaying Cooper. Where will the points come from Big Blue? Boston kicks to Mince. He's been off today. He'll still fire away and bury that one. With a good rise up by Mintz. Defense wasn't really in his airspace, gave him a little bit more ability to see the win. Now Kentucky with a 2-3 zone. Could this change the four steps into the lane? Oh, there it goes. A big shot for Sharif Cooper. Bradley, when you're playing a 2-3 zone, you cannot allow the guard up top. Oxymoron. If home is the most important word in work-from-home policy, Ohio is for you. With our business-friendly climate, a skilled and growing workforce, and a high quality of life. Do they rescind their platinum status? No, no, no. They're, they're, they're still there. They're just going to, they're, they're the fourth team to board now as opposed to the second. We know college basketball has now officially begun with a super talented freshmen already being listed in some early 2022 mock drafts and on cue off the mark. Offensive rebound is good for JT Thor, another talented freshman as well for Bruce Pearl's club. He dribbles in the same spot. Thor's going to have to heave one up, and the freshman throw the wing, and it's all net. That's where you do everything right on the. Halfway through the first, Thor, the quick trigger, and the stop on the follow. That was good by Cardwell. Take the step back jumper out of your game. Good look inside, Thor, short, rebound, Marfo. Checked out a coup. And m can go two behind getting the contact. So for Auburn, what you're telling me, Professor, you want to see more passing, less dribbling. Thor on command. Again, two possessions, one in transition. To Claude's way back in it on the road, that last sequence, Mark Wise. Get you a stop, and as a point guard, always look up the floor. Watch as Gordon keeps his eyes on the prize. Position, flag, the stop, and the pop. Back to live action, Thor gets it, 10 to shoot for Auburn. Big possession, Williams loads one. It's off, Auburn's got a foul. Yeah, I would foul Marfo, even though he's been good at the line this year. Make the big fella hit shots. Boy, was that a good look though, Johnson. Auburn does inside, they have been a shot blocking machine, especially in this series. He had 14 blocks in the first matchup. Here's Thor with the turnaround. Yeah, I thought it was interesting what Bruce Pearl said when we know George's hit on four of its five. Here's Jamal Johnson struggling from deep. Thor on the glass. Both of these teams, sensational offensive rebounding teams. And <laughs> Why waste any time? And that was a game against Alabama that was decided in the 90s. Here's Thor. And what a difference. On an empty possession, rebounded by Thor. Here's Cooper, open floor. Took it down with him. Thor follows it up, picks up the trash, and takes it home. So when Cooper goes, well, I could see that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Cooper gambled for the steal, and he thought his teammate was going to get it. Cambridge couldn't win the race. Back, might have had the back of his jersey. One hand there. Good, huh? Cooper playing with four fouls. Good job by Wheeler making it difficult. Great defense. Thor for three. Hadn't made a three all night. They'll get another chance. That's off the rim. Under a minute to go now. Another rebound by Kamar. He's got his fifth double double all in. Hey, Barber. And I think you remember Frank Ford as the first guy here back in your day. People think that Chuck Person or Charles Barkley. Uh oh, Frankie Ford. In the mid 80s. For Auburn. Thor switched it in midair. And now Shackelford looking for a lane. Like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, and the receiving end from Cooper with the one handed flush. Alabama has the upper hand in the previous 162 meetings before today. Well, the reason I said earlier, possession, bad shot, take a force one, is what you just saw. Reese hit. Oh, nice reposition by oh, Ellis to find a seam, but then missed it inside. And here comes Cooper the other way. Came 
Cambridge. Out of the lane. <laughs> Seniors, Dan, making plays. They've got the experience on their side. Wow. That's how Auburn played in previous games to this. Get the ball, put your head down. And it's been a couple of freshmen coming up huge, Dan. Oh, watch how he hesitated. See how he hesitated right there? And when the defense raises up, he explodes. And four. Right there. Oh, man. Rich, second start for Sharif Cooper, the five-star. Alan Flanagan in a more natural position. Instead of having to run the point, J.T. Thor off a career-high 15 with his first bucket. That game only made four three balls. Very uncharacteristic for them. Remember, that's a team that only lost six times all season. Sweet look for JT. Too many loose possessions, especially by the Bulldogs. I talked about Georgia averaging just over 18 turnovers a game. Auburn averaging just over 17 turnovers a game. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Williams. They were a really good floater team, but remember the challenge inside is scoring tonight against shot blockers. Drive to the basket and Thor into the paint, step back, short. And Thamba short with that three. He's going to shoot it. And a big three right there. JT. Good when he doesn't use it as well. Williams being harassed by Thamba. Feed inside. Thor able to put it in. Uh, Jalen uh, Williams. College basketball due to COVID. But here we are. 13 point advantage. For Baylor. Oh, they are delighted. John Chambi, Fran for Schilla, Jared Butler heating up Franny. Yep, no, said this earlier. See, that's there's no foul there. Yeah. There's just no foul yeah. there. That's just incidental contact. And you but but you know, Coach Drew told us last night when he knew who the crew was, he said I hate on TV, but I think he's gonna be coaching at Auburn for a while because they just love his energy. And as he told me last night, Auburn's great at everything, all their Olympic sports. You know, I mean, you can debate. It's at 8 Eastern and next Saturday, it's the Bears. Baylor hosting TCU. If you're a Big 12 fan, you got to have it. Sign up today at ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 now. Shot clock down to three on the opening possession, which winds up a triple for Allen Flanagan. Get away by Thor. At Auburn, seven shots now make it eight have all been from downtown, and so far it's working pretty well. Experience at Florida State didn't do anything for two weeks. Didn't no individual workouts like other teams did with pauses and whatnot. They did nothing, and yet here is a team that is safe. This is not the holiday giveaway season. Yeah, we already finished that. Another three dropped by Auburn that time for Auburn Williams was not set and this is where 60% free throw shooting can come back to haunt you at times Tolu Smith will be back at the line ball game because they were probably told about 90 minutes ago no Cooper on the floor did they exhale and think okay we got this and relax man if that's the case that is not what you want as a head coach best playmakers in Sharif Cooper and Justin Powell. And you just have to take your hit this year if you're Auburn and, and, and correct and say, we're, we're not gonna ever get our program in this. Position. Drive over there, the whole family, all, he's the oldest one of five siblings we have. So we're all packed into the minivan, we get there, he needs three points. Excuse me, five points. Career low, three. Never Thank seen my coming. dad. <laughs> I mean, again, the cavern is set up at the arena. You can hear everything. That's gonna be two. Goaltending. Yep. Count it for Jalen. Now you see this is like 2-3 zone. Again, can, can Sharif quickly identify the differences? He did right away. Got 
everybody organized, found it into Thor in the weak spot, right with that SEC by Moore on one end. And they transition the other way quickly to pick up a foul. Moore kicks it back out. Williams got his feet under him and knocks down the three. Glad some beef. It was uh, interesting to hear Bruce Pearl said someday he's going to get paid to play. Now, you don't know where, but I mean, someday he's going to be a pro. But he's had foul problems. But most freshmen, especially big guys, remaining in the opening half. Auburn led it 28 to 12. Again, got off to a very quick start. Here's JT Thor. Bruce Pearl says, in due course, JT Thor. Wow. JT, I, I better not say anything when Powell's got the tested two, if not three times a week. Speaking of that, what see. was your early thought about Kentucky? Another, another very young you team, number one rec live. recruiting class. Another three. Yeah, you got to see them live, and they're scoring any way they really want to score. Can they get a stop though? That's important. Remember, they made their last five shots to close out the half. Here's Powell again. Wow. I, I don't know how. You Sovereign team really overwhelmed St. Joe's with their athleticism. Four with the lob inside. That's Dylan Cardwell, another talented freshman. His minutes on the floor yesterday, 11 points and three assists. Wow, really is a nice handle. Johnson, that's a three. And not hard to speed at 11. Stretch Akingola, stretching the floor a little bit. Yeah, relatability, yeah. toughness. It, it, it's demanded without demanding. Yep. And it gets a three, another one. Or probe and pitch out to Thor. Weaving it over to Johnson on a three, knocks it down, plus the foul. sit out guys from last year that are playing and there is a decided difference between the way let's say Kentucky does it with their one and dones and that ball falls after rolling around the rim from Strep Howell that has not been there as his shooting he's one of seven from the floor but he's got nine assists and six boards Cambridge got it boy he's warm tonight and Cambridge has a slam but what I like about Devontae Schuler. He does more things than just score to impact winning. He's got a couple of steals tonight. That puts him at 160 for his career. Did go against number one, but it was number one for Auburn, Jamal Johnson. How about this for confidence? Put the ball in the freshman's hands. Wheeler 0 for 3 to start this game, going head-to-head -head with Sharif Cooper. Cambridge going down the lane. They will count it. They have a chance for a three-point play. Guy. A friend of my daughter's went to Alabama when he was there. He kind of bumped into her at the line at Starbucks. He was so apologetic, he bought her her Starbucks. Nice. Now that's why he's getting ready to check back in. Reese. They just don't trust throwing the ball. And he is fouled out. Feels good to lay out, let a crowd go. Look at that lob from the freshman to Kate. Cooper making his second start. A lot to look forward to this evening. Ball movement. Jamal Johnson left open, and he connects, and that's what Auburn does best. Well, we know Auburn. I do think, Blinded. Mike, uh, I do think that Ben Hallen's team can play defense one more possession, but that's it. And then you've got to think about the basketball. But right now, guys like Cambridge, and here's Thor, who's a five-star prospect. Ten and blue. Had a great game against Kentucky. See if he can have another big. PN. Welcome back to Auburn University. War Eagle up on the Volunteers, 43 to 39, about four minutes plus into this second half, and the uh, to a concussion.
and with nothing but good news since that event to come out of that. So I am totally with you there on that news. And Bruce's teams traditionally have not been that big and have been able to exploit the size. On the perimeter right now for Tennessee, a lot of driving lanes open. Springer, nice bounce pass to Fulkerson, blocked at the rim. They just have not looked engaged on either end of the floor throughout the course of this game, and Auburn's been, been the better team. It's a good rebounder. He has the ball.
in the first half. Stewart. Oh, oh my goodness. A wing three off the glass that but you hit on the key word. He is active every time he's out there. I'm a big fan of his game. And you mentioned it. It's not just the totals, it's the efficiency. 45 from three, 80 from the line. My friend. <laughs> Turnover, missed dunk. Bad close out. But all of a sudden, just an eight point game. Shackle for it buries it. Goodness. And you might have sabotaged yourself earlier. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that Michigan score, while astonishing, first off, there's Petty for three rebound. He snatched it away from Flanagan and Williams. Oh, he gets two Tigers fighting for the fake. And you get to mention Jaden Shackford, who's got 20 points in this game, by the way. I mean, <laughs> yeah. they just have so many different guys that can beat you on offense. It's on the boards. Extra pass, Shaq, got it. What? Top four recruiting class. Only the three Blue Bloods, Kentucky, Duke, and North Carolina. Doesn't work out that well because part of being a freshman is being inconsistent at times. We've seen that. I mean, Springer's had some rough games in that six-game stretch, as has Johnson. But today they've been good on the offensive end, and Tennyson needs every bit of it because nothing is coming easy, and that's a credit to Auburn. They've missed seven. <laughs> Williams is a guy that Bruce Pearl... ...has been out here recently. He's been our go-to guy in the second half as a team. Auburn shooting better than 55% from the floor. And if you've followed the Tigers this year, this is... We'll get Jalen Williams to the line. Well, our college basketball date. That might be, uh, is that an Ole Miss team possibly that might uh, move into that uh, fifth spot? 20.
shot blocking presence, a rebounding presence, block to block, but in, he's got to do a lot of things well for them, and there he is on display. Second chance opportunities against Auburn to get the ball inbounds. Molinar on a drive, Cambridge top floor. On that news for Keontae Johnson and the Gators, and really the basketball world for that matter. Pulling down and have been able to exploit the size, as you mentioned, because they're just quicker. That time, Tolu and change to go at the Albert Arena. Long three, long rebound. One against a high quality opponent. You see the offensive difference without Cooper. There's a shot at the rim, as you mentioned, Jaden Shaq. For a record amount of threes. We saw the game in Tuscaloosa against Georgia where they rattled off almost 200 points. You start to wonder. What was the, uh, the, the Nick Saban camera angle? It's just his, you know, when, when he shows up and sits courtside. That's camera angle that... Josh Primo. No. He trying to use some momentum and make a run in the second half. Eddie Strong from three. Bruce Pearl has professed his love for coaching this kid, is the way he said it this week. He's a Tremendous player. effort. Yep. Streak comes to an end for Springer at 24 in a row at the line. But uh, tennis.
Mississippi State, Tolu Smith, the second leading rebounder in the SEC. Stewart on a step back. That was the, uh, the, the Nick Saban camera angle. It's just his, you know, when, when he shows up and sits courtside, that's camera angle. Great communication by yourself, by yourself, sending the message. There's, there's no ball screen coming. For LSU, uh, non contact injury looked like he's already off the side. We'll monitor that. Cam Thomas. In the country, those freshmen are playing better. Jared Butler, you mentioned Baylor still in their pause. I'm just dying to see them play again because they're an incredible team to will program with, as you see, Hall of Fame names. And he's broke all their records. He's broke the scoring record there is just wild. Now, the round comes up short on the floater. Good work there by Saar on the defensive glass. Askew with a purpose. Oh, no, no. Down to seven. This is the switch that they wanted. Well wow. shot by Scott. He couldn't get it to how he played. He was a point guard for that LSU team and, and gave them a lot of grit and the ability to, to attack and run the floor. JT trying to defensively push this Texas Southern team out outside the three-point line, get space, and with that lazy pass, four of eight from three. Haven't made one yet here in the second half of play. Well, shot. Auburn right now is defending. Memphis with numbers. Back iron on a three. Auburn didn't do, good, didn't do a great job getting. John, it's scoring with the second opportunity that's been a problem so far for Auburn. Now, we, we know that Auburn will keep shooting the three ball. What, I, what a way this would be to start the season for the Knights. Lots of new faces playing together for the first time. Mayhem. Oh. <laughs> Following yesterday's game, two of their student athletes are out due to tournament guidelines and COVID-19 protocols. Because he was slated to be the main ball handler. A tough shot here. JT Thor was out on uh, Williams. Uh, and, uh, Hunter, Daly, Bishop, Forrest, and Funk for St. Joe's. And a good job by Forrester getting three. Daly will draw the contact. JT Thor. And that's what you get from Sharif Cooper. Good ball screen action. He can see the court so well. That shot pinned off the Thor. Been as of late. The freshman reclassified and kind of finding his offensive rhythm. Even from downtown, he's got a left. A lot of stretch plays. And that big long arm and that denial position of the habit pass up top against Brooks. Thor just running. Why isn't he in the hall yet? Well, Coors Light is going to do something about it. I'll drink to that. But you hit on the key word. He is active every time he's out there. Between shooting off the bounce off the move, that was more a rhythm dribble. I'm okay with that, and it was only one dribble by Flat. Alabama led by as many as 16 in the opening half. Winterleaf putting the moves on the big man. Crawford. On the perimeter right now for Tennessee, a lot of driving lanes open. Springer, nice bounce pass to Fulkerson, blocked at the rim. The guys.
We didn't see Molinar who broke open. You're not going to get many second chance opportunities against Auburn to get the ball inbounds. Molinar on a drive came. And with nothing but good news since that event to come out of that. So I am totally with you there on that news. Abdul Adu and a nice pump fake draws the foul. Great execution. Thor altered that shot, but there to clean it up. And that's the first time we've called Cameron Matthews' name today. And that be, and I would put Mississippi State maybe just above average, but then you've got to have great length. They've got plenty of that, and you've got to have the 11 minutes to go. Molinar had his toes on the line. That Ben Hallen's team can play defense one more possession, but that's it. And then you've got to think about. See if he can have another big one against a high quality opponent. You see the offensive difference without Cooper. There's a that SEC title. They've got that behind them. Now they can just get back to playing ball and working on their game. Game it'll be a senior night, it'll be a, a season they won't forget. Jawan Carey cleans it. Banana. This isn't this isn't just you know, you're not just working out. This is a real game. 61% <laughs> for shooting guard. Stripped down low by on the perimeter right now for Tennessee. A lot of driving lanes open. Springer, nice bounce pass to Fulkerson, blocked at the rim. They are in the midst of a fight for one of the top four spots in the SEC, hoping to get a double bye into the tournament. And they problem trying to defend off the bounce today. Another drive. Johnson, good body. Fulkerson, nice relocation inside to find some space. Great job by Springer. First of all, to get the offensive. Quest Glover on the floor. Osai Osif.
regional pundits. Well, can you win? Can you live and die by the three? Well, they did other things well, but they certainly shot a ton of threes. And they between shooting off the bounce off the move, that was more a rhythm dribble. I'm okay with that, and it was only one dribble by Flat. That was the, uh, the the Nick Saban camera angle. It's just his, you know, when, when he shows up and sits courtside, that's camera angle. I remember Bryce Brown, Jared Harper, just kind of coming down the court, pulling up from deep. But yeah, similar. Alabama led by as many as 16 in the opening half. Winterly putting the moves on the big man. Cross the baby shack. <laughs> Six point game here. <laughs>
kicked on the boards. Extra pass, Shaq. Got it. Under the four minute mark, is this team thinking that we have trouble? Averages 15 giveaways a game, and that has plagued them throughout the year. Smith inside to Adu, had it poked. Yeah, see the way Smith probed there without forcing it? Look at the hand. Shackle for the Tide, on the move. Oh, and a giveaway. Mintz gives it up. Boston loops it in for Brooks. Try to make that move on the baseline. Thor gets a piece. A chance here for Ole Miss to try and chip away. That's how he played. He was a point guard for that LSU team. It, it gave them a lot of grit and the ability to, to attack and run the floor. JT trying to defensively push this Texas Southern team out. Outside the three-point line gets space. And with that lazy pass, ace of the Auburn team, what they did defensively. And offensively subbing, subbing, playing 10, 11 ball players. The rankings compiled by our own Paul Biancardi would, would back that up. And he's a five-star kid. He has had so much success for Johnson with a miss. The rebound taken down inside. Once again, Michael Flowers, along with some help from Walker and Lacour, have done a very nice job for South. UCF has continued to keep Auburn at bay. Here's that 2-1-2 press on a terrible pass by Adams. Thor at the top of the press on the inbounds passer. Would he be so tough to try to pass through? Look at this. Yeah. It's just a great read by him. On the NBA. And you make the decision that, you know what, I, I need another year of seasoning. I need another year to improve. And now look at the leadership. Poked away by Thor. Goes to guardless team. Well, enter Sharif Cooper, stage left. Here's another takeaway. It's biggest game of the year. Davis against Flanagan. A relationship. Uh, you better get in there because, man, it, it helps on recruiting so much. I was talking to some former players recently about their recruiting trip. Monte Schuler trying to get it to White. Turn that one. A good rise up by Mintz. Defense wasn't really in his airspace. Cooper four steps into the lane. Oh, there it goes. A big shot for Sharif. <laughs> kind of quality look. Take another look in transition. Flag. The stop and the puck. Shackleford lazy with the pass. Four with the takeaway. Freshman to Cambridge. And you said it with his fingertips. Oh, man.
Boy, they were they were not Auburn was not set up to, to switch everything. State battling number 15 Kansas at 8 Eastern and next Saturday. It's the Bears. Baylor hosting TCU.